We're young, dumb, and full of fun on today's Nerdist News. That is ridiculous intro. Goddamn kids and their social media. It, like they, cannot go five minutes without posting a picture of themselves on the internet. Like, have you heard of this Han Solo kid? Just today, he posted a pic of himself and all of his friends to the hot new social media site, StarWars.com, and the entire internet is going crazy over it. Whatever happened to posting your new Star Wars pics in magazines like Star Wars Insider and Force Illustrated? But whatever your feelings are on digital Star Wars fan media versus print Star Wars fan media, the fact remains that the first full cast shot of the young Han Solo movie has arrived. It comes to us from the films set on England's Pinewood Studios and was posted to celebrate that cameras have officially started rolling on the brand new Star Wars standalone adventure. Now, this is definitely more of a casual shot for the fans. Featuring the cast out of costume, unless hoodies, denim, and plaid are the hot new looks in the Star Wars universe, but it's still pretty cool to see the cast almost assembled. There is one notable exception missing from the shot, but more on that later. Plus, there are a few interesting details to pull from the image, starting with that hair! Star Alden Ehrenreich is finally sporting that solo style, a swept back part very similar to the one Harrison Ford rocks in the original trilogy. You could argue that it's just a tad less scruffy than his look in the cantina, but we figure that just means the plot of this movie will involve Han learning to live without product. Either that or Chewbacca just keeps using up all the hair gel once he joins the crew of the Falcon, because our favorite Wookiee is in the shot too, and he's gotta be doing something with that hair. He's got that back do with the lighter highlights we haven't seen for a while. Now it's clear from even these little details that directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller are really going after that New Hope aesthetic, and while it's still way too early to make a judgment call, from here we're going to say they could possibly be nailing it. After all, Aaron Reich's hair would look completely out of place on anybody not from the 1970s, although someone might want to talk to him about his outerwear choices because that's Indy's jacket, dude! You're getting your Harrison Fords all mixed up. Now moving all the way to the right, we've got the only other character we know is 100% confirmed, Atlanta star Donald Glover, will be throwing on Billy Dee Williams' iconic cape to take over the role of Lando Calrissian. Now it was always assumed that part of the solo, solo story would detail how he first acquired the keys to the Falcon, which would obviously involve an encounter with the Cloud City card shark. But until Glover was cast, there was always a possibility that this would just be a quick cameo from a beloved character. Now with such a high profile star in the role, it seems safe to assume that Lando will be playing a pretty big part in the proceedings. Now we have two other big names on hand, Amelia Clark and Woody Harrelson, but their roles are still slightly up in the air. During an interview at the Sundance Film Festival, Harrelson claimed that he was playing Garrus Shrike. Shrike is a pretty big character in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, the man who teaches Han how to fly and inducts him into the world of smuggling. This definitely lines up with the info we've heard that Harrelson will be playing a mentor figure to Han, but until the studio confirms it, we'll hold out on saying that he's definitely playing Shrike. As for Clark, our money is on the Game of Thrones star taking on a brand new role, most likely the film's villain. But if she is playing an already existing character, there are a few options. Some are speculating that she may be Dr. Afra, an archaeologist who eventually becomes Darth Vader's right-hand woman. Now, the bad doc has been popping up a lot recently in canon comics and games, so we could see Lucasfilm wanting to promote her to the big screen. But her villainy is a little too tied to Papa Vader's to really work on her own. So the other, in our opinion, more likely option is Tolvan, a captain in the Galactic Empire also appearing in a lot of current comics, her overly authoritarian ways seem like the perfect counterpoint to Han's roguish charms. But as we said before, this is still all super speculaty, so don't forget your grains of salt with this one. Now the only big cast member missing from the shot is Thandie Newton, also taking on a currently unknown role. Her absence from the shot raises some questions. Is her role just not as big, so she doesn't need to be on set yet? Or maybe she's still trying to escape from the Delos Corporation? Whatever the answer is, we still really have no idea who she might be playing. One possibility is Santa Staros, Han's pretend wife from the comics, but it seems like that would be a pretty substantial role, which once again forces us to ask, why wouldn't she be there? But what do you guys think? Who do you think Thandy or Woody or Amelia will be playing when young Han Solo hits theaters next year? Let's discuss. Hey guys, did you catch the latest episode of Mothership? It's amazing. I got revenge on Hector in the Slurpee Challenge, and it was a beautiful thing. Be sure to like and subscribe, and keep checking Nerdist.com. Oh, he got owned so hard on that too. <laughs> oh.